Welcome, Aries, to your bi-weekly September general reading. This is for September 1st through the 15th. These messages may or may not resonate. Please do check your moon and your rising sign. I am going to do three cards for your energy, three cards for either your love interest or the situation at hand, and three cards for the outcome as well as overall. I had already begun to do your reading when the camera turned off, so I'm going to continue it now. Start from the top. Let's see what's going on for the next two weeks of September for my Aries friends. I am conducting um, a $20 reading, okay, for the month of September only. So if you would like a personal private reading for clarification, please do check my email down below. Your overall energies here. You have the Magician came out first, and I couldn't help but notice the Ten of Pentacles. So the Magician is your card as far as I see it. You are now manifesting with the universal source around you beautiful uh, prosperity with regard to the home, family, um, money, okay? Uh, ten is also a completion, so this has been um, in in the working for you for quite some time, okay? And so now you're beginning to see a completion in this area of your life. You did come up here with the strength card in reverse, the death upright, and the world as well upright. So off the bat, you have one, two, three, four major arcana. So this is definitely something that's transpiring for you um, externally to you from, uh, again, from, you know, spiritual forces, your angels, your guides, you're being divinely guided here. With the death card and the world card, you are putting something to an end. Something is being reborn. All right. Um, you're finishing out cycles here, especially with this 10 of pentacles. So this is, it, it's, and you have felt it's drained in doing this for a long period of time. However, um, the universe wants you to know that your efforts are being recognized. Okay. That there is a transformative period right now for you. Virgo also had the death in the world come out as a pair in their overall energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Any of the fixed signs as well, um, Scorpio, Leo, again, Taurus, and or Aquarius, all right? So th these are the energies that's coming out for you for the, at least the first week of September. There will be a culmination to some cycles. Cycles are ending, cycles are completing, but it's all for good. It's all for good, and it's all for everything that you've put into um, the universe in order to manifest these new beginnings. And again, I'm seeing career, I'm seeing finance, home, family, um, relationship, all right, you are being reborn here. You're definitely being transformed. And for either your partner's energy or uh, your particular situation currently, we're getting the three of swords in the reverse position, okay? So again, we're coming out of some sort of storm. We're coming out of some sort of heartache. This very well could be a third-party situation. doesn't have to be. The third party could be some sort of obstacle external to you that was that you were trying to overcome with this magician and ten of um, pentacles here moving toward this the ending of cycles. Your next two cards are very, very beautiful here. We have the queen of pentacles stable, reliable, predictable, long in the making with pentacles. Again here with the ten of pentacles, long. I feel like this is something you've been longing for, right? Um, this is something that you've been putting a lot of effort and hard work into. And again, it's going to pay off with this beautiful ace of pentacles. Okay. You're having a new lease on life, I feel. All right. And this energy too, the person that you're dealing with or the current situation that you're dealing with um, is being put to rest. Hard work and stability um, have been put into the situation, okay, energetically. So we can have this new beginning here with this Ace of Pentacles. It's a very reliable energy. You could be starting a new project. You could be starting um, a new job. You could be taking um, a new position within your job at a higher level. All right, but this is definitely an offer coming in. Okay. What's the overall, uh, what's, the, what's the outcome to the situation for the next two weeks for Aries? Five of Wands, King of Cups in reverse, right beneath this Queen of Pentacles. 
and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. I feel like there is going to be some sort of conflict with this new beginning, some sort of... Maybe now that you're moving to more stability here, there's going to be, you're going to be in a position of transition, all right? I feel as though, too, you are no longer emotionally connected to certain situations, certain people of your past. It's been difficult to walk away from them. Or this could go vice versa. It's been difficult for them to, to release and let go of you. So this these new cycles can begin. Overall, the next two weeks, though, you're going to have a transformative experience. Okay? New beginnings are coming in for you in, in almost every area of your life. There is some there is some conflict with this though, okay? Because these new beginnings involve other people. Again, home, family, career, intimate relationships, marriage if you were so married with this 10 of pentacles here as well. So there there will be some sort of conflict. I feel as though one and or multiple people around you are going to feel conflicted with your new beginning your transformation that you've put a lot of effort and time into. Uh, they may be overreacting, okay? Emotionally unstable. I don't feel as though this is you. I think it, if indeed you're going to be going through certain transition, transitional periods of feeling emotionally in a state of flux, it's only due to the fact that you are in this transition right now. Okay, this the beautiful ending and completion of cycles, and you're finally getting, you know, what it is you've put so much hard work and energy into, Aries. Oh, I couldn't help but notice you're okay. So, yeah, I get the, the king and the queen of the same suit. Okay, which to me also tells me that this very well you could be dealing with the soulmate energy. Especially because it's popping out here with the Two of Swords and the Lovers in reverse. All right, so there, there is going to be some decisions to make as you close out this cycle. Okay, and again, I feel this could either be you or the per or people, a person and or people around you could be also dealing with uh, water signs here with with this pair of King and Queens, uh, King and Queen of Cups in reverse. But they are in the reverse position here, so. It, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, and or Pisces, all right, as well as a Gemini. So um, it doesn't have to be any of these particular signs, but the energies in which they embody, okay? Someone I feel is definitely cutting someone off here in order to go toward their soulmate energy. Um, someone is making a decision to no longer be in a particular relationship or in a particular relationship with a group of people. Okay. Again, you you know these decisions are, are really good. Again, with this conflict here and this five of wands, this is external to you. I feel okay. So either someone's making a decision um, on behalf of you because you are now moving toward a more secure place in your life, and they're unable to emotionally handle it. Or you're making this decision to cut uh, a particular someone off or, again, situations because you are now moving toward a more secure position and you will only like to bring those like-minded energies with you, okay? You're putting the past to past, you're ending cycles, but I definitely see some sort of conflict here, okay? And it looks to be related to your love situation with the, with the cups and the lovers here. But overall, you personally are, um, if you even if you are struggling to let go of a certain situation or, or particular person in order to move toward um, this prosperity that's coming in for you, um, the suggestion here is that might be in your best interest because what no longer served served you in the past 
is certainly not going to serve you with this, this Ace of Pentacles going into the future. So I do see that there's going to be some deliberation with regard to certain um, relationships, partnerships, okay? Uh, that's your reading Aries for the first two weeks of September. Again, if you would like a personal and private reading, discounted at only $20 for only the month of September, do email me. We could do that via Skype, phone call, pre-recorded, uh, whatever is most convenient for you. I wish you all the best. And if you're in the States, have a happy, healthy Labor Day weekend. Thanks for spending time with me.